Hey everyone, this is Eric Seaman, general news reporter with the Wabash Plain Dealer, bringing you tomorrow's headlines. What this is, is a little sneak peek into what you can be reading in Tuesday's Plain Dealer. Our lead story is written by my co-reporter, Nick Van Heest. Uh, the story on the county commissioner's meeting, uh, county veteran service officer Cameron Lochner returned to the commissioner's meeting uh, with new figures about his tenure in office, including the fact that he has helped veterans receive more than a million dollars in pension benefits. Our centerpiece story is written by yours truly. Um, a Wabash Middle School science teacher it has been named Teacher of the Year by his uh, alma mater, Manchester University, and given, uh, which was given to him earlier this month. Uh, he was nominated by Wabash City School Superintendent Jason Callahan. Our next story is written by Nick. Uh, a story on a local leadership development program that is uh, seeking funding from Wabash County um, for its 2014-2015 program, uh, and, but commissioners aren't sure if funds are available for it. Our next story, short story by myself. It's, um, a man was injured in a two-person accident in Wabash on Monday evening. He's uh, currently listed in critical condition at Lutheran Health Network, and uh, the incident is currently under uh, still under investigation. And our next story is written by Scott Cousins over at the Frankfurt Times. Um, Superintendent of Public Instruction Glenda Ritz discussed the um, discussed uh, the state of education in Indiana on Saturday in Clinton County, including reading accountability. Poverty's effect on education and early education. Switching over to sports, um, our sports report, our sports editor Justin Shockey did a recap of the opening weekend at the Wabash Cannonball Motocross Track, um, hosted by the Wabash Cannonball Motorcycle Club. And then we also have a story from Manchester University. It's a recap of the school's uh, track and field uh, team's individual top ten finishes at the North Central College of Illinois uh, Illinois's last chance qualifier for the national championships. That's all for today. To check out more about these stories, you can uh, pick up your Tuesday Plain Dealer or you can go online at www.wabashplaindealer.com. Until next time, you stay classy, Wabash County.